yo, 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 now yo, it's yo. time for the news of the day, the Roach Clip the day. News. Oh, oh. Hey, oh. welcome everybody, this is the welcome, Daily News, welcome. this is Roach Clip Podcast Daily News, we will be doing a daily, daily segment news. every morning at 10 a.m. for all our Instagram listeners, and we're, we're going to upload it on the podcast channel. So no matter what, you'll be caught up on the motherfucking news, you know? We'll be caught up the on real everything. Style, you know, we should have rolled the blunt, but we'll start rolling it right now. Yeah, we'll start rolling you know? it right now. There's I'll never roll, a late time to roll a blunt. Roll never blunt. a late time to roll a blunt. Hell no, this is your first time ever checking out the podcast or, you know what I mean? This is what we do right here. We like to talk a little bit of smack, but mm -hmm. we're going to focus on the news for this quick 20 minutes so for this content if you guys want to stick by check out the news i am tolo and this is my homie king, king jay. jay you know the original the most electrifying news anchor of all time man let's start off with this story man there's gonna be a massive protest planned for wednesday january 23rd Ooh. the people are, uh the workers are demanding mitch McCann mcconnell open the government with no strings attached oh i heard about that yeah, I was hearing about that. Yeah, there's over 800,000 workers right now working without pay. And there was, like, something about 20,000 of them or, like... Yeah, only yeah that are getting partial pay, I yeah, think. Yeah, or something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, it's day, uh, yesterday was day 32 of the closeout. Uh, the shutdown. There's been, there's been uh, pro propositions on both sides, but they're not agreeing on anything. Donald Trump wants... He wants five, five billion dollars for that wall. Five point seven billion dollars yeah. for the wall, but he wants. Uh, he made him a deal that he'll give the DACA students. Oh, a temporary like a, like a three year um, extension. Yeah, on extension. Their, on their human rights. Yeah, to, to give him that 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 money for the wall. That's like, crazy because DACA crazy. kids were brought here, were brought here illegally by their parents when they were babies. So that's kind you of can't a tricky blame situation. Them. Yeah, bro. they've been living here their whole life. Some of them don't even speak Spanish, dog. Yeah, exactly. They only know English. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the shut the shutdowns. Um, it's it's uh, messing up a lot of social programs. You know, facing facing crises like people that help the poor and stuff. They're cutting that budget. So yeah. there's people that that get like renters help and housing help that aren't getting that help because it's been all shut down, bro. That's part of that's somebody that's suffering the biggest in this big shutdown. Exactly, dude. You know, man, it's like baby games, man. Like, give me the five point seven billion. Exactly. But, dude, exactly. if nobody's agreeing it. Like, he's got to know he's not right, bro, you know? Like, he can't get what he wants, like, in all the fucking situations of what he's debating about, you know? It's just crazy. We could use those $5.7 billion for something better. For something bro. better, dude, than trying to build a wall. And did you hear about something he was saying now that he th that he believes the wall needs to be built out of steel instead of concrete? Yeah. Yeah. He wants to just fucking... They should just put lasers <laughs> and cameras all over that you bitch. You really should, bro. Like those lasers, you go through it, just start cutting off pieces of your body parts. Hell yeah, man. So we got Alto in the we building. We got Alto in the building. For the first episode of our... We got our, this camera going too. Our so. news cut. Here we go. We're back. Yeah, yeah. So, hell yeah. So, man, yeah, we're talking about how the uh, how Trump wants $5.7 billion to reopen yes. the wall. For the I wall. mean, to reopen the government. Mm -hmm. How there's over... Put the wall up. Yeah. Put the wall up. Oh, mm -hmm. Put it on open. Because Trump said himself, he said he has no problem with the shutdown going for months and years on. Well, he don't. Yeah. Exactly. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think, do you guys think about opinion, this? You know? Know? Hit us up on the comments. Hit us up on our you know? DMs. Yeah. Let, Let us know. know what you guys think. Should we should we budge and give this about the $5.7 billion? Or should we put those $5.7 billion into to something, something better? better? You know, More schools, you know, homeless. Infrastructure, you know, just period. Yeah. Just our infrastructure, mm -hmm. period of suffering. It is. That. Yeah, dog. So that's what's going on in that part of the fucking country. In this part of the country. What's up, King Jay? What do you got, dog, on the docket? All right. So the first one I got off with is um, in Oleth, Kansas. Firefighters rescued um, a deer that fell through the ice. Oh, what? Dang. It just fell it, through the ice. It, it was. It was. It, it, it tried to walk across because I, I tuned up on it and everything in the video. It tried to walk across it, and it fell through. And is it was, this a different vato? It's from last oh yeah, week? from last week. So and yeah, it, these deer keep falling into. And it got stuck five feet in the in in the Damn, in the water, sucks. dude. So the firefighters came and they uh, they took uh, this happened on uh, January twenty second. Mm -hmm. So they came and uh, the firefighters when they pulled out the deer, the de they did they said that the deer was laying down for like a little bit and then just got up and took off into the forest with no Damn. with no like it wasn't a harmed or anything like that. Like it was okay. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's yeah. Forgot to mention there is a planned protest right on 
on the federal workers for tomorrow on mm. Wednesday. So mm. check mm. that shit out, guys. If you guys are out in, where is that shit going to be? Probably Washington, right? Yeah, probably Washington. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Damn, dog. That's crazy, man. These deer keep falling through that water, bro. Bro, they, they really down. do. That, like, <laughs> what the hell are you guys thinking? Like, That's fucking nuts, bro. That yeah, is. What's up? What's up, Alto? You got anything on the docket for us? Yeah, man. There's actually a, a new caravan approaching the Mexico border right now as we speak. Oh, from Honduras again? Yeah, man. It has a, mm. up to 18, around 1,800 migrants with them. Holy shit. Yeah, man. How much was the last one? Uh, was it was bigger? A, there was a couple now, I think. This is, the, I think, like the third one. Oh, they're on the third one now? I think so, dude. Which one was the biggest one? The first one? The first one was pretty heavy, dude. I forget how many people, but I think it was in a couple thousands. So how are they handling this, bro? Well, now Mexico at first they were out, they were obviously stopping people, man, not allowing anybody in. So some people were jumping and swimming, according to the report. And then we saw on the news when they tore down that fence too. Remember that? Mm. And they all like bunched up at the border and they ripped down the fence. The yeah, I remember that the Mexico fence. Yeah, so they jumped and then everybody just piled in, man, and they started going in. So what Mexico did to combat that, you know, to help everybody in, is they have an open door. Policy. Migration policy now. Mm. So if you just wait in line and you go in the line, you get your bracelet, you know, and you're legal within a within oh, like five I heard, days. Oh, I heard about that. That as yeah. long as Whatever, you do it for real within yeah. five days. Within yeah. five days. Yeah, as long as you do it, you're doing it the right way and waiting your turn in line, no yeah. matter how long it takes you. So it yeah. says, uh, according to CBS, it says every migrant, every migrant that enters legally first gets a brace bracelet with mm -hmm. their wristband. They can get a humanitarian visa, which takes about five days. Once inside, migrants are photographed, interviewed, fingerprint, and get iris recognition scans to keep track of who's entering. You know, so it's not just like they're just letting anybody in, they're tracking them. You know, they're mm -hmm. vetting people. They're doing at least some. It's hard to do background checks on a lot of these countries because a lot of those countries, the dictators and all that that were ruling in the past have deleted and uh, destroyed documents. They try to, they, like they try to, the way they try to word it, they try to word it like they're doing it so properly. But if you really just like get down to the bottom of it, you niggas are treating these people still like animals. You're tagging yeah. them. Yeah, they're still tagging them. You're, st you're tagging them, dude, it to is. keep track of. But at least they're, they're. At least they're, they're free. working on a way to get them instead of like fucking yeah. fighting them or yeah, kicking them exactly. out or kicking them out. Yeah. That's only under the condition that you're gonna live in their country. Yeah, yeah. You don't mm -hmm. have to go live in their country if you don't want to be tagged. Oh yeah, true, yeah. true. But with under the conditions that people in Honduras are living, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm gonna get tagged. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> I'm gonna get tagged to live free. Yeah, I'd rather get tagged here than get tagged with some lead. Exactly. So, so are most no. of them staying in Mexico or? Well, they... that's the thing. Where no, they're saying that they interviewed some people, man. And uh, according to CBS, they got this Alonzo cat, Marcos Alonzo, who earned four dollars a day back home. Said he left the Doros about a week ago with a group. Said though he could stay in Mexico, man, he doesn't plan on to under the new policy that he's bound for the U.S. And that he heard of Trump's wall, and that he doesn't think that the wall will be erected by the time he gets to the border. So he'll probably have good luck getting in. Damn, five point seven billion dollars, bro. Five point seven billion. To build a and wall, just remember dude. that the government has already misplaced eight point nine trillion that we know of, man. That's I what say I mean. That as many times as I can to remind people. How much wall is he really gonna build with that much yeah. money, bro? He needs way more money than that because he's gonna have cameras. That's it. That's just gonna be top-notch security, dog. Saw, Lasers I and saw, shit. I saw people. I saw people that support Trump that were talking about the wall. Bro, they had comments, and these people were defending Trump so oh, fucking yeah, bad, bro. One of the dudes was like, he's like, well, what do you expect? He's like, he's like, he's like, go outside. He's like, he's like, it's for our own uh, safety. He's yeah. like, he's like, go on your own house and take your doors and your walls off. He's like, and let's see how you're going to fucking be living. Oh, shit. That's the same as a whole country? That's, your yeah, house? that's the same as putting a wall around a whole country. So your house is like a country. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, the I was comments, just like, oh, yeah, 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 the oh, comments. Anyway, you're now to tuned into Roach Trump. Clip News, Daily Roach News. How many of those uh, old ass uh, Trump supporters got, like, mail order wives and things like that? Shit. Uh, on a Thailand, no marriage. Trump's got a mail order wife. The right. first lady's a oh. mail order wife. Ooh. Pop, pop. Shots fired. Shots Guy let Trump. Fired. <laughs> and they might shut us off from Instagram and all kinds of shit for talking oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tell me why. Uh, you know how the Simpsons are always predicting shit? Yeah. They had a picture and shit where they had Trump in a casket, and they're like, just wait uh, on it. The Simpsons are never wrong. They're not. <laughs> uh, Man, in sports. <laughs> that shit was funny. I got some sports news for you guys. I don't oh, know you guys watched shit. Manny Pacquiao won his last fight, but they're saying he might be done for good. Ooh. In, inside sources are saying his retina might have got detached in the fight. Who is Ira? Oh, so he, oh, 
so he complained uh, about um, he complained about his eye hurting after the fight, and that he uh, the next morning, and that he couldn't see out of an eye. But another uh, one of his camp sources are also saying it's just a cornea scratch, it's something minor. So I don't know they're they're trying to fucking weigh it out because there's a big money fight that might happen again with Mayweather. So that I don't. I don't think he's trying to kill that opportunity, bro. Make another hundred million. But no. if if his retinas detached, bro, you're pretty much done. That happened to a fighter from the UFC, uh, Michael Bisping, bro, and he fought for like five years with that shit, like that, bro. They would put some gel in it, like some kind of gel. Numbing gel, probably. No, some gel to like kind of make it stick. Oh, for like keep his eye in there. Yeah. You gotta feel weird. But man. but his eyes are all crazy, bro. He he got that shit from a kick, dog, in the UFC. Crazy, Somebody yeah. kicked him in the eye and gave him crazy eye. So he finally retired, though, dude. He ended up winning the championship. Kicked right there hard enough, bro. Shout out Michael Bisping, dude. Yeah, he hard in the head, man. Yeah. yeah so shout out to Manny Pacquiao, man. He put on a great performance. The other dude just fucking he. The other dude was just playing defense the whole time, bro. He was not throwing one. He threw, I think, the most punches he threw in a. He landed, I think, it was eight punches in a round or some shit. Oh, dang. Pacquiao was just fucking, dude. He Going ham, dude. He hit him one time, bro. Threw threw him across the ring, dog. That shit was dope, bro. Right yeah. in the jaw. It was dope, man. It was dope to watch. But, yeah, shout out to uh, Super Bowl. It's going to be on February 3rd. Shout out to the Rams and Patriots. I don't know if you guys hey, watch any hey, of those hey. games. I watched watch it. This is about the time I start watching sports. I watched yeah. the Patriots game, bro. <laughs> Their last game versus Kansas City Chiefs. That shit was a classic. But they both went to overtime, both games. Mm. Oh, yeah, because I, I, I saw just so many posts on fucking Facebook of people saying, fuck the Patriots. <laughs> and and then passing their pass interference play. You, know, you guys want to hear a crazy stat? This is Tom Brady's and Bill Belichick's ninth Super Bowl together, dude. They're five and three going into this Super Bowl, so they could go six and three if they win, bro. But it's gonna be a tough challenge against, a, the, yeah. against the Rams. The ring before he did. Man, that'd be crazy Who? if he did, dude. The Patriots guy. What's his name? Uh, Tom Brady. Oh yeah, yeah, I think he will. I think if he gets, he's a he's a he's a, a good ass quarterback, bro. Like, Dan quit with six rings. Hey, but he already has the most out of any quarterback. Can mm-hmm. People can hate him all they want, but that guy has pulled their team up. Dude. Exactly, like dude. Back from, from he has. I mean, there's been some times so where he's done a lot of fuck-ups. Shout out to all the Patriot uh, fans, all the Rams fans. You know what I mean? It's going to be a, a fucking clash, East versus, East versus West. Shout out to everybody that just watches the sports, man, and has fun watching them, man, roots for their team. I got to find my – uh, I have a Tom Brady shirt. I made a oh. – I, I sublimated <laughs> his face on a shirt. Oh, nice. I wore it to last Super Bowl, so I got to wear it again to the Super Bowl. See, dude, that's what's cool about Tom Brady gear. You can wear it every year to the Super every Bowl. Because <laughs> <laughs> he keeps going. <laughs> he keeps going <laughs> that guy. So the last time they played, bro, it was – they played before, dude, the Rams and Super uh, and the Patriots in the Super Bowl about 10, 11 years ago. What's crazy, bro? Me and my home. I had a I had a Drew Bledsoe fucking um, uh, New England Patriots jersey, and my homie's a Rams. My homie had his Rams jersey, Marshall Falk, and I bet him for if whoever lost had to burn their jersey, bro. And he lost, and he fucking was a man of his word. Went to the backyard and we burned his Marshall Falk jersey. Damn. Damn, man, what do you got on the docket, Tamalipas? What else? What else? So the last one I got is um, o- Ocasio or Ocasio. Yeah, Cortez. Um, I guess she in a, some speech that she was giving or whatever, or some just what, announcement or whatever. She believes that the world will end in twelve years due to climate change. Mm. Because did you did you guys see did you guys hear about uh, that there's um that there's a shitload of ice in Niagara Falls? In Viagra Falls. Viagra Falls. Viagra stands. It fucking it froze down there. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, I seen that shit. Yeah, you seen it. Yeah. So yeah, so now she believes like they're within... falling through that motherfucker as we speak. <laughs> We're gonna keep having uh, record-breaking winters and record-breaking summers. Dude. Yeah, Watch dude. Watch. Record-breaking rainfall and all that. So she believes that in 12 fall. years that the world's gonna end in 12 years because how much the climate is changing. Hell yeah. What do you guys think about that? Climate change is real or it's some fake news shit? No, I believe it's real, it's bro. Because there's already so many polar bears that are. Like, I think polar bears real, are starting I mean, to go like. According kind to of extinct, bro. They're starting to die because the ice is just, you know, they're drowning, bro. They don't have nowhere to But according uh, to Trump, nothing's real, dog. Nothing's right. Real. It's all nothing's fake real. It's, it's all, all fake. fake. It's all fake news. Even tune into my Twitter feed. That's where the realness is. Real. <laughs> You're tuned in to Roach Clip Daily News. Daily Every Roach. day at 10 a.m. Join us on, on Instagram oh, there Live. Was, there and was then on our, on our fucking podcast networks. We'll everything. be posting these every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that algorithm going, baby. Twitter just banned somebody uh, from uh, Twitter. Somebody's account. Who was it? Somebody uh, big. 
Uh, I think it was like some type of big account, but they were um, Alex Jones. I don't remember oh, who it was, but they it were was a while ago. <laughs> they were um, they were encouraging that shit right there. Okay. What shit? Uh, some some yeah, kid, story. some kid. Yeah. So you go, you go ahead and get. Well, let's it just go into yeah. the next story, and then we'll see what they were encouraging. The story. So the next story I got is uh, Trump and Don Jr. both weigh in. They comment on that viral video that we've seen with the teenager Sandman and the mm-hmm. Catholic teenagers rocking the MAGA hats. Everybody's seen it, you know, and it looks like they're. Uh, oh, that kid that was just fucked. Yeah, right there in front of that old of man. Yeah, yeah it's like bro. Where they're ridiculing the the Native American protester. That they started fucking. Cl- and that like guy's a Vietnam fun, War veteran yeah. too, dude. And he was all clowning on him. I've seen shit, that little dude. fucker. Have you seen their Yelp page, bro? It's getting fucking yeah. bombarded, bro. Yeah. yeah. They're well, getting fucked. Mommy's getting death threats and everything, dude. The kid. He's a dumbass, bro. He's a dumbass, They're dude. playing into that bullshit, bro. Like, Trump's got saying, everybody this, hyped up. These, ki- these like, generation kids. Kids, kids are doing that to kids <laughs> in school, bro. Yeah. Don't be fucking Trump, bro. Trump hates you. Get so the like, fuck out of here. So, like, we were talking about the whole fake news thing, right? So, Trump goes on Twitter and he says, looking like Nick Sandman, which is the kid, the main kid, and Covington Catholic students were treated unfairly with early judgments proving out to be false smeared by media. Not good, but making big comeback, exclamation point. New footage shows that media was wrong about teens' encounter with Native American. What was the... And mean? it's a report from Tucker Carlson on his Twitter, man. And then he tweeted again the next morning saying, Nick Sandman and the students of Covington have become symbols of fake news and how evil it can be. Tucker Carlson <laughs> said this? Yeah, Tucker Carlson reported... That was the... the or the title of his headline oh, I see, I see. Oh, okay. was a uh, new footage shows that media was wrong about teens encounter with Native American and that was from the Tucker Carlson page that Trump had retweeted on his page man these motherfuckers follow blindly doing their sheep For like real, a motherfucker dude. the followers you shit like but that but you see it on both sides too man you know I see it on both sides that's that, true bro it's, whack, be, it's becoming that now hey, it's not about your party it's about the country it's about what's, know, like, what, what's happening yeah mm-hmm. so don't let party like uh, you know don't let whatever party you're going to distract you from what we really need to do, you know? Yeah. That's true, bro, but he does say some dumb ass shit. He does, he does. Yeah. All the oh, time, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude, nah, no, Never I'm not going to take away from that, you know? That Never says nothing smart, bro. Says some of the dumbest shit ever, and he's sitting at the one of the most powerful seats in the world. Exactly, dude. You know, and then uh, he ordered McDonald's and shit like that. Remember that shit? Did you guys <laughs> see that shit? What? <laughs> so uh, one of the college teams won the National Football Championship. Mm-hmm. And they went to the White House, bro, and this full fucking catered McDonald's to them, bro. I saw he, so he had big o- he, he had them on big silver trays, uh, just big old Big Macs just stacked on each other, and then uh fries and uh chicken nuggets. They say by said. the time they got that shit, it's it was cold, cold yeah. They gotta fucking it's gotta go through secret got, service. They gotta check it and everything. everything, bro. Yeah, because you don't wanna get poison fucking burgers to the exactly, White House. You never dude. fucking know who hates That's why exactly. you pay your staff, Trump. That's why you pay your staff, I mean, so they cook warm hot meals that's why you have that's why you s- come and visit trump stop being cheap have a fucking chef in the white house you're yeah. like a billionaire now you couldn't afford boston market and Man, shit or right, shit to come in and cook it. get <laughs> a fucking <laughs> chef dude that lives there and oh, just cooks for, or that yeah. comes and cooks for events like that like i have an event coming up i need you to cook some shit up here's uh you know a hundred grand or some shit you know whatever dude like hundred grand <laughs> That guy, I bought that small loan of a million dollars your pops gave you. Motherfucker said that. McDonald's, bro. That's crazy. It's fucked up. I don't think no presidents really have cared. ever done don't that. Don't you think that he would pay the staff out he doesn't of his get, budget? He doesn't care. Like, oh, yeah. the people in his close circle. That's uh, why he brought McDonald's. That motherfucker doesn't care, he does bro. Not care. <laughs> he does not care. He got that kind of money. You got 80 cold-ass hamburgers yeah. sitting there, like... I wonder if people even ate it. In entertainment, I got uh, Chris Brown's arrested in Paris, accused of oh. aggravated rape and drug violation. Another yeah. one? Damn. Yeah. Yup. Dude, this fool's been in so much trouble throughout the... Since 2009, since, since he beat Rihanna, bro. Yeah. He's been in trouble for punching motherfuckers, punching cameramen. All kinds of disrespecting fucking females, all kinds of yeah, shit. bro. That yeah, shit so is crazy. so Brown is being held along with two other un- unidentified people, oh, bro. That so, he did it with. Yeah, cause it, well, the story goes that after his concert in fucking France, mm. he took two chicks to the room, but then they split up, and this other hyena saying that that fool fucking raped her. That's all that. That's all that fucking the story has so far. Damn. Nah, I don't think he did then. That sucks for that chick, man. I think a lot of these females probably just plot that shit, like, in their heads. Like, oh, if Chris Brown ever took me to his room, like, 
I'm gonna do this and that. I'm gonna get money from this nigga somehow. But that fool, you know? but that fool has a fucking reputation, dog, for doing crazy shit like that. Exactly. So that's probably why they females probably be Man, thinking that. Rihanna and he beat Rihanna, dog. Exactly. That's Rihanna. Yeah. Like, damn, motherfuckers dream about being with Rihanna. Did you, did she you looked like a UFC fighter after that. She Never did, did bro. Right. She was all fucking no. bruised up. But they, uh, up did shit, you hear man. why they said that he beat her in the car? Oh, because she, I guess they were, he was driving or, yeah, he was driving and she looked over at him and said like, she's like, I need to tell you something. She's like, I have herpes. Mm. That's he, not what I heard. I heard that she took this fool's phone and they were fighting over it and this and Rihanna was fucking socking oh, him Oh, okay. Too. So see, yeah, there's a, a so lot the, of different this allegations. started beating her ass too. So it was like, because mm. she took her phone and saw like texts from other high and shit. Oh, it started fucking, started fucking him up yeah. and shit. And this fool's started, driving, they're in a Lambo. And then he beat the fuck out of yeah, her, dude. obviously, from the fucking pictures. It dog. was funny because there was a comedian, dude, that was talking about it. He's like, he's like, we got to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's like, we don't know what was said in the car. He's like, she could have looked at him and said, that's why you can't dance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny, dude. That's what I think yeah, if you're, like, way bigger, dude, there's never a good reason to have to beat the shit out of a woman. I you think know? there's never a good reason to beat a female at all, dude. Like even if she's well, hitting not. you, like, like if there's like this big ass chick and you're like five foot two and she's like six five, two fifty, yeah, she can really ass. kill you, dog. You know, like that's you're probably better off trying to just run but away. But if you're like, the dude, man, and you can easily overpower a chick, you know, and your, your life is not in jeopardy there. There's no you can pin her down. You she ain't got a hands. knife to you, a gun to your yeah, head, bro. You can hold her hands real quick. I would have, like, man. I would have just fucking walked out the car, told exactly. that bitch to drive a fucking Lamborghini and I call an Uber. I there wasn't even Uber, Uber back then, but I'm that rich that I'll get a fucking Uber. <laughs> there was car services. You could have called this label and they would have had a right. car service. Oh wait, right. right. bro, yeah. you can call the Grammys. You're bro. rich. Call the, yeah, bro. Yeah, you never. That's not an issue. Like, like, when you're rich, there's always hey, Rihanna, something for Rihanna beat the fuck out of me. Go buy another. Come get my ass. Right. Exactly. Me fucking talking to all these skunkers. Or been driving, not calling them on the way, still driving. Yeah. Hey, she's on the side of the highway on 93. I need y'all come pick her up. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch yeah. was beating me. I had to tell her get out the car. <laughs> Hell yeah! So fuck yeah! I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The Roach Clip Daily News will be here every day, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. This is our pilot episode. Check us out on fucking Instagram, iTunes, SoundCloud, and your favorite podcasting apps. Even Google us, bitches. You'll find us everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. Go inform yourselves. 2019, big things coming. Episodes burning. Peace out, everybody. All our Instagram live viewers, peace out. Thank you for peace the love. Out, people. Love. And all our all our fucking podcasts and YouTube listeners, we fucking love you guys, too. Much Check love. us out every Much fucking love. Thursday morning. New episode uploaded. Uh, and fucking we love you guys. We're coming through every day, though, with the news. Peace. Yeah, peace. peace.